back to my channel. Today is Sunday, October 10th, and here in Washington, it's a bit of a rainy and windy and just sort of dreary day outside. There's not a lot going on, but um, it is my birthday too, so I wanted, <laughs> I think it'll be a good day, um, and I wanted to get on here and share a bit of an update for the um, Shawography Mystery Knit Along. So I've got my little cup of coffee here, my little um, boobies cup. <laughs> I love bees and I just thought that was just the cutest thing ever. So I got that. Um, but I wanted to share a bit of an update on the Shawography Mystery Knit Along. So the last time I left you, um, my second Vlogtober episode, I showed a bit of my cast on and finishing section one and I think I was on the first wedge of section two before I uh, shut off the video and stopped filming but I did do a little bit more and that was on Friday night I think and then a little bit more I did a little bit more knitting that night I finished about three wedges that night in section two and um, and then I put it down and then all day yesterday, I basically just did knitting, <laughs> a little bit of cooking and some knitting, but um, I finished section two. I finished section two yesterday and I wanted to show it to you. So let me go ahead and put this down. And to show you my section two, well, section one and two. So here is my shellography so far. It is a beautiful knit so far. Um, I'm really loving how all of these colors are showing up together. They're all dancing together quite nicely and you can really see the beauty of the color selection. So I have some grays, um, some sort of greenish grays, and then my color pops of green throughout. So they showed up really, really nicely, and I'm really, really happy with it so far. Um, one of the things that I'm really enjoying about this mystery knit along this year is the fact that we can see all of the colors um, pretty much straight away. So we have the five colors, and we can see all of them pretty much right away, like I said, and I really like that because you kind of get to showcase all of the colors that you've chosen. So that's really nice. Um, the wedges in section two, like I said, I finished about three of them before I put it down and then picked it up again. And I think on about the fourth wedge, I really just stopped looking at the pattern notes and I just started doing it um, on my own and I really really thought that they were just really easy and really intuitive I think once you really get those German short rows um, it's quite easy it's quite simple and before I knew it I had just nine rows or I mean nine wedges excuse me so it went really really quickly I finished it much faster than I had anticipated that I would um, but I really really like it so far so section two <laughs> um, coincidentally, my mom actually also decided to cast on uh, the Shellography Mystery Knit Along, and I'm really, really excited that she has decided to, to do this knit with me, and it's really nice to see both her progress and my progress. She's had a bit of issues um, for some reason with the, with the wedges, but... Um, but I think she's gotten them worked out now and I think she's just on her way. So I wanna say she's on the fifth wedge right now, maybe the fourth or fifth wedge. But, um, but yeah, so here's the section one and two and it turned out really quite nicely. And I'm going to move on to section three here today. Um, and I did read ahead in the pattern a little bit on section three. I want to say we use um, A, C, D, and E 
colors A, C, D, and E for section three. Um, and I'm really liking how, at least how I read it, and I did sneakily look ahead to some spoiler pictures of people that have it finished. Um, and I see there's, there's some nice color, color work happening there. Um, however, for section three, I do have these five colors, like I said, and I did show you guys my color palette. But for section three, I was thinking about incorporating a new color into this little color palette here, and I'll show you what I have. So I have these beautiful greens, neutral grays and greens. And then I also have this gorgeous eggplant purple. So it is a beautiful eggplant purple. Um, I don't remember what kind of yarn, I know this is a fingering weight yarn, but I don't remember um, who dyed it, where, I know where I bought it. Um, I bought it at a little shop called The Sock Peddler here in, in um, Tacoma, Washington, but they have, during COVID, unfortunately, that shop closed and they're no longer, but um, before COVID-19, I bought this. I actually bought this color for last year's Mystery Knit Along, and um, hopefully you guys can hear me, <laughs> okay. But I bought this color for last year's Mystery Knit Along, and I actually didn't get a chance to use it at all. But I do have it. I actually haven't used it, like, at all. Um, but it's a beautiful, dark eggplant purple. And this actually happens to be my favorite color, <laughs> this dark purple here. And I thought that with section three, it might be a nice addition to the shellography mystery knit along because I have these beautiful greens and grays um, and I thought that they would just work up really really nicely together um, hopefully you can see I also have this one here um, which gives a nice kind of pop but uh, I have this one and this sort of greenish gray as well I don't think I use this color this is my color B. I don't think I used that in section three, so I'll put that down. But I have this sort of greenish color, and I think I used this one as well. So I think I used these three colors, and I want to say you break it, you're supposed to break it up with color C, which for me is, color C for me is this just gray color um, with no variation, and it would turn up quite nicely but I thought, instead of using just the gray, that I would use this purple to sort of break up these colors a little bit. I thought that that would be kind of a nice addition. Um, let me know what you think. I think it'll turn out quite nicely. I'm very excited to add this purple. And then of course, put these down. Um, and then of course, as we get more sections and the knit goes on, I can probably add this nice eggplant purple into some other sections too, just depending on um, what we're supposed to do for the next sections. I'm not really sure since we haven't gotten the clues yet. So um, yeah, so that's what I was thinking for section three. I think I am gonna go ahead and incorporate this purple into it because um, I just think it'll be a nice little addition. Uh, to my palette and something kind of unexpected and also this shawl is sorry this shawl is for me so since this is my favorite color I thought I would go ahead and just sneakily put it in there so yeah so that is the plan for section three um, I'm gonna get started on it here in a little bit and I will check back in a little bit later and kind of show you how that goes.
again um, I wanted to just film a quick outro because I did start section three of the shawlography uh, mystery knit along and I wanted to just show you sort of where I'm ending today I don't think I'm going to do any more knitting today um, just because <laughs> um, it's my birthday and I want to have dinner with my family and have some cake hopefully <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you my progress. I did start section three, like I said. I am on row, um, the next row that I'll knit is row 11 of section three. So here's my progress so far with section three. Um, it's not very, not very much, but I think you can still see uh, some of the color, the colors here. So. Uh, this is section two, as I explained, and you can see, you can see all of my uh, colors in that, in that one. And then I did incorporate the eggplant purple into the, the palette here. So this, this dark color, hopefully, it's showing up correctly. I don't know if you can see it, but because it's quite dark, it looks almost black, but it's dark purple. So it is showing up here. Um, I did incorporate it into section three. So you start with that dark purple color there and then you move into color A, which for me is that lime green and um, use the color, well, it's supposed to be color C that you use for this, these like V slips here, but um, I, I just incorporated the purple into that one. So, so far it's looking good. Um, I will update with, with my progress, um, hopefully in the next few days. But yeah, so here is my shawlography so far. The shawlography, I am in section three, like I said, row 11. And I think it's turning out quite nice so far. So yeah, that's where I am. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my eggplant purple um, within this palette if you think it's working or if you think I should uh, tink it back <laughs> and use the gray uh, let me know and yeah so that's what I have right now I'll try to take some proper pictures I did take a picture of section one and two completed and post it on my Instagram which uh, you can find in the description down below so yeah here is my shallography okay so so that's all for today. That's all the uh, knitting that I'm going to do today. I'm not going to do any more. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go have a happy birthday. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. But until then, happy knitting.